hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is stella if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel click on the notification icon so that you get notified whenever i post youtube video any new video and if you've not watched my previous video please go and check it out on my channel i talk about my life here in the uk what's happening around me i sometimes share information to be honest on my channel i don't have a specific niche here <laughs> <laughs> I just try to post interesting content, yeah. So that's just what I try to do. But my channel is interesting. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah. So today I'm going to tell you guys uh, five things that is like uh, is normal in Nigeria, and five things that is like is not normal. It's just a mixed, um, mixed story. Should I say story? Yes, yeah, because it's a story. Yeah, it's a big story. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you guys. Let's just go straight to the point. So number one in Nigeria, in Nigeria, I'm going to start with the ladies' stuffs. Yeah, lady and guy stuff. Yeah, so in Nigeria, if you're going out on the road, a guy can say hello, hi babe, what's up? Can I have your number? You know, stuff like that. They call it they call it chai king. <laughs> 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 so, um, yes, but that is what they call it. I think they call it chai king. I think a guy is chai king or toasting. Is it toasting? I don't even know what to call that one yeah anyway so yeah that's it so you can like stand and say uh you don't want the number or you want the number or you want to give him your number or anything like so you guys can exchange contacts so that's just basically that's what i'm trying to say but here in the uk <laughs> are you mad you can't even try it when someone is working on you can't say S well, excuse me baby excuse me sexy excuse me well go to nigeria they're gonna call you they'll call you also they even the ones that will call you that, like as if you're a dog yes they'll do that to you <laughs> i don't know what's called like if it's harassment or what but here in the uk you can't cry it because they can't even call the police oh yeah i could remember telling a friend like she was telling me she's um like she's single not like she's single but she's not in a relationship yeah she's single and i was telling her that, that in nigeria some girls like dress just go to the market hopefully somebody might say it she was like really she was like that's good <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, she said, yeah, nobody's going to talk to you. That most times, how they end up with relationship is like maybe their childhood boyfriend from high school, from college, you know, or maybe like their own way of meeting the guys is quite different from Nigeria. In Nigeria, most times we meet our guys on the road or maybe connection or like maybe match, maybe. But here in the UK, it's either online or your high school, you know, like childhood friend. Like that's what I noticed most people were. For me, I met my husband on the road yes oh, so that just excuse me so that's just what i'm trying to say yeah i met my when i was in school in it's basically like on the road stuff even though at first i was really pissed off i don't really like it but yeah we ended up here we're together now but here in dj you don't do that you don't even try it so yeah here in dj you don't do that so let's go to the next so number two here in the uk i noticed that like here in the uk they drink a lot of tea as in every minute they are drinking tea, I don't understand. Cup of tea, cup of tea. Even at home, people know me that I don't drink tea. They'll be like, ah, tea. you don't even have to ask Stella. Because me, I end up drinking water. In my country, I don't know. I think the reason why we drink a lot of water is because of the weather. It's so hot that air. Eh? I remember back then in school, every single day you see me with pure water. Like, I am drinking water. I love to drink water because the weather is really hot. So I think that's why here they drink a lot of tea. And because the weather is hot yes so i think that's why it's different here um yeah because the weather is i don't know maybe because of the weather is cold or something i don't know but they just drink tea 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 cup of tea do you want a cup of coffee cup of coffee cup of tea but in nigeria it's not like that we drink tea like <laughs> our tea is either you're drinking it in the morning or even those people that drink tea in the morning after night maybe maybe that should be like a baby a child or you know but i don't most time they just drink tea in the morning and then maybe tea and bread and just go to work but here in the UK they drink tea like mad they drink tea coffee tea coffee tea coffee yeah so it's really like yeah that's really big difference anyway so number three number three candy you can notice that like most people call their boss like by their name hi um let me just say hi stella hi stella hi this you tell the person but in nigeria is excuse me sir excuse me ma excuse me sir excuse me ma ma sir ma sir no here there's nothing like that mm, here in the uk i don't know they just call you the name excuse me um 
hi stella or hi miss stella or just like they just call your name but in nigeria i think if you call somebody's name they will not start seeing it as if <laughs> as if you've done the worst like i don't know i see you like i buy your meat i don't understand <laughs> They take it personal to be honest in my country they take it personal when you call like an elderly person like their name they take it personal but here in the uk they don't really take it personal they're not bothered they're not bothered to be honest so yeah they're not bothered here in the uk you just call them their name so that's number three so let's go straight to number four nigerian versus uk number four here in the uk they smoke oh my god like they smoke like <laughs> they smoke mad like i don't know these people smoke i don't know but my country to be honest if you're smoking they see you as a bad person like especially a girl like the guy sometimes be like i don't like guys that smoke i don't like guys that smoke okay come to this country where you see ladies there eh? i don't know whether they're competing with the guys yeah you see even husband and wife outside smoking together <laughs> and they're happy but in my country you won't even dare you won't dare in nigeria if you're in nigeria you understand now it wouldn't even be yeah, it even the ones that are smoking the smokers in my country they call them runs girl runs girl is like a prostitute they see you as a prostitute like a bad girl or um, especially those people that appear their ears and they're just like me now they see you as you like you're bad yeah but here in the uk it's nothing it's just their way of life some people will pierce their tongue pierce everywhere but in nigeria they start looking at you the other way around so yeah it's crazy that is it uk versus nigeria so here yeah, in the uk it's nothing you see people smoking excuse me i can remember um when i came in uk in 2018 when i was working i have a friend that smoked and some of them smoke the read like they have the packet i don't understand they bring the pack and they will not mix it and wrap it by themselves so to be honest before me as a person when i was in nigeria i don't like the smell i like i hate it here in the uk to be honest i'm not lying i don't know when i started getting used to the smell I can be talking to someone that is smoking and I will still stand and will discuss and I will go <laughs> because I don't know, I don't want like like after fucking around, but in Nigeria I won't even stand with you like when you're smoking but yeah, I was, after fucking around, I'll be like, okay, that's right then I'll go my own way I have this friend that used to smoke then and I have, also have a friend, he's a pastor but we all work in the same place that's my where I used to work before and he was telling me that your friend smoke I should go and preach to her that is, and my friend to be honest this lady she's nice although we've lost contact she's so lovely ah she's so nice fatima i really miss you yeah she's a muslim yeah she's a muslim she's very lovely she's from spain but she's she's here in the uk for long so she like for a citizen i don't know yeah she's been here for a long time but she's friends so she speaks spanish so he was telling me to go and buy and tell her that it's not good to smoke. I said, me, tell her, when this country, everything, if you do little thing, they will tell you that you're, you're a racist or you're, you're... Or they say you're discriminating. Anyway, so I told him I'm not going to tell her to stop smoking, that she knows that the smoking is not good or whatever. If she smokes, she smokes. I told him, you're a pastor, you to go and tell her. So it's me that it's good to go and tell her. <laughs> Doesn't someone, don't smoke, don't smoke. Don't you know that it's not good? It's, you know it's your health, so you know that it's not good. So, like, not like, I don't know. Most of them know that uh, smoking affects so many things. So why should I tell her that? Uh, stop smoking and all of that i told you to go and tell her there's nothing but still you're still picking the gospel you can't tell me to go and be telling people you are the man of god go and be telling people it was so funny then <laughs> anyway so i told him i can't tell her so that's just it i didn't really tell her anything we continue our friendship i'm now with and her and uh, she's so lovely she's so nice smoking doesn't define who you are so i just realized in this country it doesn't matter if you smoke or not if you smoke that for yourself it's your own if you smoke that's your own business to be honest it's nothing so back home in nigeria they see that's a very big deal when you smoke so here in the uk you know it's not a big deal and the last one here in the uk i see a lot of gay lots of lesbian and all of that so back home in my country if you're a gay or if you're a lesbian to be honest it's a big offense i think you're going to be jailed for 14 years yeah for 14 good years if you're gay so but here in my country here in the uk nothing like that i've met lots of gay i've met lots of ex at first it was weird i was like oh but now <laughs> to be honest i don't know i'm not seeing as i don't know i just see that we're like hi how I, I met this guy he says, he says oh my heart my heart's man that's his partner oh blah 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 i'm like oh really i don't know sometimes it's funny like the way they do the thing but anyway but that's their own way of life you know but here in the 
um, here in the UK, sorry, I mean, here in the UK is their own way of life, that's how they live, and I don't judge, to be honest, so I just realized that you know, it is what it is, but in my country, you don't dare it, even if you are, you have to be hiding it, you don't open, you can't even say it, because even starting from your parents, they might disown you, yeah, it's possible. 95% or 99% of Nigerian parents will disown you if you say you're a lesbian or you're gay or they will say your village people don't do you that's your village people the witches in your village have confused you so 99% of African parents are going to disown you if you're gay so here in the UK it's just normal most people here are lesbian gay yeah so um, lesbians or uh, you know you know here yeah, they, they just their own way of life it's normal so yeah this is just what i want to share with you guys bye god that's why i said this is um nigerian versus uk or uk versus nigeria if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe for your gear and if there's any video you want me to share with you guys please don't forget to comment below leave a comment and then i'll do video on that thank you for supporting your girls always support me thank you for watching see you in my next youtube video bye guys bye bye Softly spoken